So, I'm pretty sure we all know what achievements are by now. If not, you're probably living under a rock with Patrick. Well, today, I wanted to get one of the hardest achievements in the game. It's called Kara Would Be Proud. To get it, I had to complete a half life mission without dying. That doesn't seem too bad. SHUT UP, I'M NOT DONE! Because there's one more thing, a little thing I like to call, I CAN'T USE FRICKING SUPPLY DROPS! The strategy for the challenge is to play a scout and get through the caves as fast as possible. I'll ignore all other objectives and minerals, including the gold if I want to mine it so bad, and I'll only go for more guide. I'll call the drop pipe as soon as I can and get the ever-loving hell out of there. I forgot to press record for my first game, but it went as you might expect. I died. But the second game, I got blessed with Dark Morkite! <laughs> Basically, when I mine Morkite, it increases how much I get by 20%, which is a godsend for this damn achievement. However, something soul crushing happens right near the end. Have a look, my friends. Alright. I changed all of my weapon mods, so I have max ammo. That's gotta pray. Let's go, baby! Alright, boss, go. I don't care. Okay, I care. What? Bruh. Seriously? The grunts are here. Let's show them our special handshake team. You dumbass menace. I've never sweat so much in a PvE game before. That's all out. Who the fuck up? I've then tense first wave. My SMGs were completely out of ammo, but I managed to find enough more credit to call on the drop pod. Now I see to get to the drop pod and stay alive until the frickin' mule gets there. However long that may take. Probably millennia. Sounds easy, right? Well, here's how it went. Bro, I'm sorry I'm not talking, but I am focused the fuck up. Fuck is Molly. Gotta live. Thank you for killing me. Well, thank you, Oh my fucking god. Molly, hurry up. Yo. This is gonna be second try. Drop pod departing in T minus three minutes. Yo, 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 yo. Her open. Go. So, I'm here staring down the only thing that separates you from my achievement. The drop pod door. And of course, there's an exploder behind Giga Dwarf here. So does he A. Run and move back around to the drop pod. B. Turn around and shoot it in the head, killing it and stopping it from exploding. C. Run and die to fall damage. Or D. Stare there like a greedy little bastard and get blown to smithereens, failing the mission. The right answer is A. But, he chose option D. No! Uh, is it really completed though? After all that, I died to this motherfucker. I was extremely demoralized by that point, so I stopped for the rest of the day. So, to kick off this brand new day, what it in? Another day, another round of... Bullshit achievement. Killed some dumb and stinky bugs. Oh. Bitch. Then I told each. Oh. Well, that's game one. Great. Whatever. Next game. This can't go any worse than last time, right? Right. So I loaded in. Let's go, baby. Yeah. Uh. Argue with my dwarf. Oh, I'm having the best time in my All life. Right. I'm not. Got harassed by a bunch of bugs. Oh my god. Nope. Got scared by an oppressor. What? Then got hit by a spider and died to fall damage. No. Okay, that's game two. Yay. Alright. 
<sighs> same thing, same thing. Damn, yo. Okay, here we go. Come on. I load in. Realize this achievement is a goddamn silver. The thing is, this this is only a silver trophy. And on top of that, 0.4 people have gotten it. So, I'm going to become one of them. I find a major crap ton of bugs. They're coming down the tunnel, bro. Finally died to a spitball infector. There it goes. Fuck. Anyway, I realized something that I talked about before and completely forgot to equip until now. Pheromone canisters. Basically, when you throw them, all bugs in the blast radius get covered in a pheromone, which will make them attack other bugs, and other bugs attack them like Karen's and Lan on Black Friday. And like security, I can hit a few of them with my bat, or a pickaxe in this case. But unlike them, I'll get some health back with my lifesteal perk. Overall, it's gonna help me a crap ton. All right, back to it. Load it in. All right, send the die again. And he's on my pheromone with the first fight. Oh my god. I'm on pheromones. Fosco, please help. Boom, baby. <sighs> Meaning it was at a disadvantage when the first wave came around, but I managed to do pretty well. No, it isn't. Oh my god. Seen too bad so far. Okay, things are getting hairy. Should have said that anything. Shh, nah. At that point, I had attempted it quite a few times, so I decided to take a break for the day and go play GTA with my friend. Next day, I got on with more energy. It's about that time again to complete this stupid achievement. I did my daily prayer to DRG gods. Now we just pray to DRG gods and yeah. <laughs> and got on with the show. I don't like that here, bugs. Uh, how many are there? Okay, it's just one. Very much cancer is coming in clutch right now. There's a whole, holy sh oh, oh my god. Okay, pheromone. Yeah, I have one left. Significantly diminished. Well Good. That's a lot of damage. Things were going well, until I got overwhelmed and then bitch slapped by a slasher. That's not good. One more hit, I'm done. No, man. How is this achievement only a silver? I also realized that I actually did better when I used a shotgun on my first run versus now that I'm using the SMGs. So I switched over and gave it a try. Ended up doing much better. Back to it. All right. Get praying. Time to go kill these stupid cockroach looking motherfucker. Let's go with me! Uh, my, uh, so far, so good. What out my mouth. This time, I found some jet boots that I didn't even get to use. I just won't make it. Mother. Okay, this is good, actually. I then proceeded to get my ankles nipped to shreds by a swarm of, well, swarmers. Got it. Swarmers are the freaking worst. Oh, and I almost got crushed by a meteor too. What? Get me in, get me in here. Okay, I'm safe. 
wave, team. Go, go. Just so dumb. Don't go worry about waves for a little bit now. But wait, there's more kite in there. Where is it? I'm so dumb. I forgot there was more kite. Wait, was it destroyed by the meteors? Nope, there it is. A big vein too. Hello. Uh oh. Oh my god. Look out, I'm a going to kill you. Shut up. Okay, let's go. Molly is on the way. Reload. Asshole. And then got killed by a literal menace of the DRG society. Look right here. No. No. Freaking menace. A literal menace to DRG society. That's what I'm saying. Third mission of the day. Got Rocky Mountains, and I went on my not so merry way. What is that? Rocky Mountains. Uh, not I'm looking for, for sure. I mean, I could maybe get some help. I can't go public though, because if they call on a resupply, it's done. So I would have to get someone I already know, like in the group chat online. And Christian ain't on. And I don't know if it's the whole team are gonna be i just checked it it's if any dwarf goes down so if i bring him along it'll be very bad so bad idea you mother i said i actually got lucky and found some more jetty boots so that was good i had jetty boots last time too that's sad huh speaking of jetty boots Lucky me. Except when I tried hacking them, I got attacked by some Mactaras. That's unfair. Mother. Oh my god. Then after I cleared them out, I got tracked by an entire wave of them. As well as a Praetorian to top it off. Bloody Mactaras are onto you, team. Best dig in and get ready. Nope. Ugh. Much better. Screw the jet boots. Fuck that guy. See cover. The Mactaras are here. That was bad. That was, that was good. Play around the pillar. That was a pretty good one. I'm stuck. I heard that. Dead. The wave is thinning out. Take out the rest of them. Snap. I'm going to have ammo fast. 16 volts up. That's all I have. For the rest of this godforsaken mission, I'm not even halfway there. I think it's just shocked. But I'll keep trying. After that fight, I didn't have much ammo, and I wasn't even halfway there. So I thought about just leaving, but I pushed on it anyway. And boy, am I glad I did. Uh, no way, right? Come on. That? I'm, I'm about halfway there. I'm way more than halfway there. Way more than halfway there. 17 more and we're good. Come on. We can do this, bro. I found a room with a bunch of Morkite, putting me only 17 away from my quota. One step closer to knowing that our Lord and Savior, Karo, is proud of me. Lighting up! <sighs> Gone off! Objective complete, nicely done. Return button on the All right, where? Now we gotta book it. Now that I had all of the work that I needed, I just need to head back to the drop pod and make sure that I didn't end up like last time. Can I just run? Yeah, I can get there. Fuck you. Might as well grab this. Gain deja vu. Now we just gotta live. Now with all my ammo and my assault rifle gone, all I have is my trusty boomstick to carry me through the mission. However, 
I was running an overclock that massively increased my damage, but made it so when I shoot, it fires both barrels at once, which in turn reduces how much ammo I have, so I had to make every shot count. I don't know why I ran this. Come on, Molly. Two shots. <laughs> One shot, I missed. Holy oh, shit, she's here. That's deja vu. Hurry the fuck up. Now, I'm being hit by some glyphids right at the drop pod door. And we have another few choices. Does the good dwarf go with option A? Run away and move back to the drop pod like a sensible human being. B. Almost die by trying to kill them with this pickaxe. C. Run and die to fall damage. Or D. Get greedy and stay there, dying with the whole mission a waste of time for the second time in a row. The answer is actually A. Not this time. In, in, in. Yeah! Oh my god, I did it! Yo, oh bro. There it is. I got it. Oh my god. My heart's racing, dude. Oh. Car Carl's proud of me, boys. Carl is proud of me. And with that, my friends, Carl is now officially quite proud of me. It took a lot of effort to make this video, so if you enjoyed it, please eat, like and subscribe. It really helps me out and it shows me that you're enjoying the content. As always, tips and suggestions are always welcome in the comments. I'll try and respond to as many of them as I can. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Rock and stone, brothers. <laughs>